Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about heuristic based detection. So in heuristic based detection, we're looking at the entirety of a file and there's two types of heuristics. There's static and active and static heuristics involves two different methods, file analysis and genetic signature detection. And both of these methods look at specific parts of the file. So we're looking at specific lines of code in the file. And if there's any sort of questionable lines of code, uh, it might indicate that the file is malicious. In active heuristics, we're using the method of file emulation where we sort of run the file and we're analyzing its behavior and the different actions that the file performs. And so in all three of these different methods of file analysis, genetic signature detection, and file emulation, we're gathering different attributes of the file. So if we say the threshold for a file to be malicious is five attributes, and we find that a file does have at least five attributes, then we could determine that it is malicious. So in file analysis, we're trying to determine a program's purpose and its destination by looking at the program's code. So let's just say program A enters the system. The system will analyze program A, and let's just say, for example, that the system finds out that program A deletes files off your system. The system might determine that this is a bad attribute of A, and so we might uh, flag this as an attribute here. And so again, we're keeping track of the number of attributes that each program has, and the more attributes that a, that a program has, the more likely it is to be malicious. Uh, so let's just say after further review of A that the system determines that it also sort of reformats hard drives. Um, so the system might flag this as another bad attribute. So we will increment the attribute count for A. Um, so let's just go with program B here. It enters the system. The system will analyze program B. And let's just say from its initial... Uh, analysis of its code that program B is non-malicious and that it's not harmful. So we write that program B has zero attributes so far. So the thing with viruses is that there can be multiple variations of a virus. So we need to be able to detect all these sorts of variations. And so this is why we use genetic signature detection. Uh, we're still analyzing uh, programs code in this method and this time we're looking for reused code and so if we find reused code it might indicate that the program is reusing code from a previous virus that we have seen or previous variation of a virus we have seen so let's just say that the system will continue to analyze program a and it finds out that program a is reusing code and that this code install rootkits onto your system the system might find this as a bad attribute, and so we will increment the attribute count for A. Um, so let's just say the system still is analyzing program A, and it finds out that it's reusing code from another program that we've seen before, and that this code uh, disables security protocols on your system. Uh, the system will obviously find this as a negative attribute, and it will increment uh, the number of attributes for A again. Um, so let's turn to program B. The system will analyze program B and program B turns out to have code reuse from a previous uh, program we have seen before and that this code creates and uh, creates files and executes files on your system and the system will determine that this is a negative attribute and so we will increment the attribute count for program B. So again we're keeping track of the number of attributes for each program and if either of these programs have at least five attributes, we will determine that it is malicious. So file analysis and genetic signature detection were both types of static uh, methods of analysis. And now file emulation here is a type of active heuristics analysis. And this involves running and testing the file itself. So instead of having a system, we now have a sandbox. And this sandbox allows us to run a program and help us analyze whether or not um, a program is malicious by watching its behaviors and actions. So let's say program A enters a sandbox. We let program A run and watch 
what it does and it turns out that program A does in fact install rootkits and it does in fact install secu or disable security protocols. And so both of these are negative attributes of A. So we will again increase the attribute count of A from four to six. And let's now have program B enter the sandbox so we can test it. Uh, we let program B run and we watch it run. And it turns out that program B does in fact create and execute files. And so we consider this as a negative attribute of B. And so we will again increment B's count from one to two. And so we have now finished all three types of uh, heuristic analysis. And it turns out that A has six attributes and B has two attributes. And since, and since the threshold uh, for a file to be uh, malicious is at least five attributes, um, we consider that program A is malicious, whereas program B is not malicious. So in summary, heuristic-based detection uses two types of methods. There's static heuristics and there's active heuristics. In static heuristics, we looked at the contents of the file itself, and this was done through file analysis and genetic signature detection. In active heuristics, we looked at the behaviors of a file and the actions it performs, and this was done through file emulation. So one of the positives of using um, heuristic-based detection is that it can help us to detect unknown threats. So for example, if there's a brand new threat that's out there and that we encounter it, we can still determine whether or not it is malicious just simply by using these three types of methods in file analysis, genetic signature detection, and file emulation, um, and count up the number of negative attributes it has. However, one of the downsides of heuristic-based detection is that it can lead to even more, po uh, even more false positives and this is simply due to the fact that we're sort of looking at the entirety of the file. So we're looking at its actions, its behaviors, uh, the contents of the file. And so we might deem an attribute as negative or it might not be negative. And this might cause us to pass a threshold for uh, the number of negative attributes it has. So the overview of heuristic-based detection is that we will encounter a threat, we will analyze the file or threat by static and active heuristics and depending on whether or not it passes the threshold we will take action against it.